Clara, we need to talk for a moment. Clara? Hello. Joanna, is this... Speak freely. Do you know where Clara has gotten to? She's nowhere to be found. I haven't seen her. That figures. Afraid not. She comes and goes as she pleases. Especially when she's holding a grudge, or things aren't going her way. I guess it's both this time. Suppose I'd be annoyed too if my High Commander kept ignoring my advice. Just give her some time. We don't have time. That's the whole problem. It's always the damn problem. <sighs> I shouldn't be lashing out at you. It's fine. I'll let you know when Clara returns. Until then, I recommend you settle whatever other business you have in camp. We have a fair number of wounded after that last battle. Damn it, that's right. I need to check in on Francisco. I hope he's all right. His injuries seemed serious. I'll go find out. Thanks for the reminder. He's a skilled warrior. Losing him would be a tremendous loss. Give him my best. Robert. Shh. He just got to sleep. His injuries weren't as bad as they looked. I think he'll pull through. Thank the gods. That's... You know how he is. Give it two or three days and he'll be laughing this off. Or charging into the next fight. <laughs> Keep an eye on him for me. Can do. Thanks, Robert. As long as we're stuck here, I'll be relying on you. You can count on me, Cap. This will go a long way. Welcome. How's the damage looking, Helbrecht? Lords Pau and Corell were killed in the fighting, and their troops decimated. Katarina and Mateus have fled for their estates. The only troops remaining are Lord Alexandre's and our own. And ours ain't looking so hot. It's only thanks to Clara's command that we were able to minimize damages. How's she doing? She doesn't seem to be injured, but she's locked herself up in the barracks, and she isn't taking visitors. <sighs> she sounded the alarms, then had to deal with the consequences. She's probably furious. It's my own damn fault. So it's up to me to make it right. First, we set course for Pomelda. That's where Lord Alexandre's estate is. No. We're done scurrying and surviving. It's time to change the tide and start hitting back. Ballastar so eager for a fight. Let's give him one he won't forget. Ha! <laughs> Kid went and grew up overnight. Knew there was a reason I liked you. We'll need Clara to do this. That Hector fella would make a good asset too. No argument on the first, though you might need to elaborate on the second. Around the time we occupied Ferta, there was a rumor going around that Ballastar was up to no good in Lampicos. I didn't have the details at the time, but I got him from Fontaine and Eris after we beat him in Vugar. What's that got to do with anything? Ballastar gave the order in Hollisburg. Hector's the one who had to carry it out. Then he got sent to Lampicos and told to do it again. You think there's a rift between them? Sure seems that way from how he was talking in Castilian. If those two are already at each other's throats, I say we give him a nudge. I see. If you're aiming to wreak havoc behind Ballastar's lines, 
That may be a tall order for Hector alone. And since our alliance has shattered, perhaps it's time we considered hiring some mercenaries of our own. You mean a meals company? Do you have any idea what they're like? I've heard they're quite skilled. Sure, and they come with plenty of strings attached. Even if we could recruit them, there's no telling what they'd want in return. We're not exactly in a position to bargain. <sighs> Fair enough. That's not my only concern. There's a big difference between mercenary work and fighting a war. Speaking from experience, I'm not sure how much help they'll be. That fellow, Emmerich and Hollisberg. You know how he's managed to hold out against Ballastar this long, don't you? You mean... Hmm? They hired Emil's people to handle their defense. <laughs> Times have changed. Everyone's adapting. I don't have much experience hiring sellswords, but... Sometimes transactional relationships are the most straightforward. Speaking of, I'd say Claire has earned some leeway. My advice? Let her take some troops. Go try things her way for a while. The lords who ran off will be watching what happens next. They'll wait to see which way the fight is going, then side with whoever's winning. For our part, we lost a lot of numbers in that last fight. We need to replenish our ranks, and fast. Not exactly the best time to divide our forces. The lords who fled. We're sure there's no reasoning with them? Uh, they joined for an easy win. Losing hurts their reputation. They won't risk siding with us again, no matter how the rank and file feels. It might be time for a lesson in the dangers of going back on your word. If you take my meaning. I hear you. All right. We'll reconvene after sunrise. Call everyone together. This defeat was my fault, but I won't waste your time with any more of my wallowing. Ballastar's still alive, and so are we. I, for one, have no intention of dying until that man is beaten. I don't deserve your trust, but I'm asking for it. One more time. We're always with you, Cap. To hell and back, brother. Okay, then here's the plan. Albrecht? We will divide our army into two halves. One force will partner with Lord Alexandre's troops and head for Pamel to block Ballastar's advance. The other will pursue our noble deserters, Katarina and Mateus, averting a future threat and replenishing our ranks with any among theirs who wish to fight. But it won't be easy, fighting Ballastar with one arm tied behind our back. To buy time, we intend to recruit two new allies to commit acts of disruption and sabotage behind enemy lines. Sorry, who are we talking about? Ballastar's former ally, Hector, and the mercenary, Emil. <sighs> are we sure about that? I'm not worried about Emil. Guys like him have one motivator, and it doesn't change. As for Hector, I'm not a fan either. But he's got his uses, and his reasons. Call it a hunch. Understood. Let's divide this up and get it done. Albrecht, it's up to you to hire a meal. Cost is not a factor. Use those words if you have to. Right. Old man, I'll leave sweet-talking Hector to you. As good as done. I'll take charge of the main force and head for Pamelt with Lord Alexandre. As for the side mission... Clara, it's all yours. You expect me to go clean up your mess? I'm asking you to hunt down two idiotic nobles who made a deal, then broke it. I trust you of all people to handle something like that. <laughs> you think a few clever words are enough to smooth this over? You've got some real stones on you. Clara and I can discuss this privately. Everyone else, you have your assignment.
So whose bright idea was this? It doesn't matter. It's my decision. <sighs> right. Your decision. A real string of hits there. Honestly, it's impressive. No matter how many times you get your ass kicked, you never once question yourself. Sounds like you've got a better idea. Damn right. Stop being so damn stubborn and let me off the leash. The whole army. Total authority. We just lost multiple allies and half our forces. Morale is crashing. Set aside your anger and answer me this. Do you genuinely believe that an all-out offensive is the right move? Right now? I can't promise victory after all the losses we've taken. But I'm damn sure more confident in it than splitting our army in half. I barely saved them from your last bright idea. Don't ask me to throw their lives away. I'm sorry. This isn't a negotiation. You should go get ready. I turned the dregs of Lenoy into Artemisia's most elite soldiers. I beat the Imperial High Commander with miners. I gave you Liriar. Castilian. My plan. My sweat and blood. How many more times do I have to prove myself to you? Just what is it gonna take for you to trust me? Clara, I've trusted you with the lives of everyone who's put their trust in me. I'm not demanding your obedience. I'm asking for your help. And I'm doing my best. Your best isn't good enough. You're still stuck in some fantasy. Like all you have to do is survive until Ballastar's head helps itself off his shoulders. Listen to what I'm telling you. If you're afraid of losing everything, you'll never gain anything. If you still think you're gonna luck your way into some happily ever after, it's time to grow the hell up! Report. Ballastar's army has arrived. Judging by their formation, it seems like they intend to surround the castle. Arrogant bastard. Shall we strike first, perhaps? No. I hate to admit it, but Ballastar's troops are tough. If we fight them head-on with anything less than our best, we're dead. Just a little siege defense, right? Let's get out there and do what we do best. If I know Ballastar, he'll come at us from all sides the second the walls are breached. We need to stall. Hold them at the gates, fall back as needed, but make them bleed for every step. All we can do is hope Albrecht and the old man make it here in time. Let's get in position and prepare for battle. How surprising. I assumed you'd choose somewhere familiar to die. 
Lyriar, perhaps. Has your taste in cities changed? You're more arrogant than ever. Well, no one's ever accused me of being humble. What the hell did you get so damn chatty? Gods, you're as bad as one of those little pissant lords. I have nothing more to say to you. If you're coming at us, then shut up and do it already. Far be it from me to deny a dying wish. Carve a path! No flame can extinguish my will. There's no point dying at the gates. If you get outnumbered, fall back and hold out as long as you can. Let's do this. Or swords. I miss nothing. Here comes Pablo!
All right. Take my hand! Mind the bow. Francisco the... There's no escape now. Oh. <laughs> How petty. Raise your swords! This is not the place we die! I need to regroup. Don't let up. Push forward. All you've done is delay the inevitable. Press the attack and finish them.
The time is now! Turn their flank! Looks like Liriar sent some reinforcements. <laughs> no matter. We'll just have to take the city before they re-continue the attack. Sir! There's an emergency dispatch from Castillo! Out with it! Commander Hector! He's defected and sparked an uprising in Castilian! What? They've already taken the city! Sir, it's chaos back there! So, the whining dog finally bites. We can take this place any time. Pull back for now. All forces, retreat and move out! <sighs> Talk about cutting it close. Cap, we got a message from Gilbert. He convinced Hector to flip sides. Probably why they stopped attacking. Something tells me things suddenly got eventful in Castilian. And not a moment too soon. Can't lay siege without supplies. They must have diverted some troops to deal with it. But that's not the only thing that saved our lives today. Marshall, it's good to have you covering my ass again. Where else would I be? How do you hear we were in trouble? I never stopped listening. Lenard's been keeping me up to speed. Guess there's no keeping secrets from you two. Not to spoil a happy moment, but it's a little soon to celebrate. This wasn't exactly a triumph. We're lucky to be a. Half the walls have been demolished, and the rest aren't looking much better. If we have to defend this place again, I don't like our chances, brother. <sighs> Not to mention Alexandre's troops are in total disarray. I wish I sure could use one of those miracle strategists right about now. There is someone. That woman who travels with Clara. You have my attention. Hmm. You have my attention. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. Hello. I'm surprised you didn't go with Clara. I'm not really the following type. Clara and I are mostly a partnership of... Seems like you two are at a crossroads late. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't pry. We can talk about it more some other time. Yeah? Hey, Robert. Hi there. Yes.
Marshall, welcome back. Seems I've arrived just in the nick of time. With a mountain of supplies and reinforcements. How did you even pull all this together? No resistance from all those fancy nobles in Liriar? Oh, there was resistance. But persuading people to do the right thing is my job, after all. News of Ballastar's advance certainly didn't hurt. Ah. Ballastar's troops made quite an impact on Liriar. People there are terrified of his name. I can't even imagine what it must have been like for the past two years. And just when the cloud was starting to lift, the nobles fell in line swiftly. They know where things stand. If we fall, they're next. It's my fault. I should have been more vigilant. Don't be so hard on yourself. Just be grateful it was so easy. What's important now is what lies ahead. Especially now that our I'll be counting on you to help me hold- And as always, how was it you put it before? And glad for it. Thanks, Marshall. Bring the wounded this way! Her Sir, there's not enough room for them all. Damn! Let's get some lumber over here! We need medical tents! You see it too, don't you? Between Hector's diversion and Marshall's arrival, we managed to scrape by. But barely. If Ballastar attacks again... Everything falls apart. Yes, but I'll need money. For what? Courtesans. Or escorts, if you prefer. Enough for an army. I... excuse... Every camp's got a few come nightfall. Our side and their... There's no shame in it. They're like any other camp merchant. They provide a necessary service to men and women fighting for their lives. I'm dying to hear where you're going with this. Soldiers talk. Cordes so you want to use, um, spies to do what exactly? I'll admit, it's unconventional. But I'm not sure a few whispered words will be enough to win a war. Maybe not. But it takes a few falling stones to start an avalanche. If you want to make it out of here, you'll need every advantage you can get. Make it out? You're not- I am. And if you're- Hypothetically, what kind of whispers did you have in- Soon after, curious rumors began to circulate among Ballastar's ranks. Rumors that Sir Elias, one of Ballastar's most trusted advisors, was attempting to defect to Eden's side. It was a ploy that, under normal circumstances, would have little chance of success. But between Ballastar's failure at Hullisburg and news of Hector's rebellion, it wasn't long before Joanna's whispers began to move mountains. I finished that letter you asked for. It's ready to slip into Elias's quarters. Good. Get it done as soon as possible. Understood. Why Elias of all people? Something Isoro said a while back. He told me that he put Elias at Ballastar's side to keep him from getting too reckless. Yet look at Ballastar now. He's become a tyrant. Right. Despite Elias's presence, his work... It's safe to assume there's likely been conflict between them. Maybe. But I don't know. You really think this will be enough? If it fails, we all die. Right now, our sole priority is escaping this place. By any means necessary. Enter. Oh. 
Oh, Joanna, please come in. I need your help with something. I've asked someone else to join us as well. They should be here any second. Come in. Am I the only one feeling a little awkward here? What is this about? Robin, would you be willing to risk your life for Eden? I mean, sure, everyone here is doing that. <sighs> Forgive me. I should have been more direct. I'm asking if you would die for him. Wait, you don't mean... D die for him? She intends to use you as bait. Oh. I don't exactly enjoy asking, but this is something only you could do. You mean because they share a resemblance? Correct. Has Eden? He doesn't know I'm here. Of course not. He'd never allow it. Hold on, I thought the plan was to cause chaos in Ballastar's camp. Now you're talking about... about this. Answer me one question. Do you believe, truly believe, that the steps we've taken thus far are guarantee enough? There has to be another way. There must be some... Marshall, it's fine. Robin. Honestly, I've been having some doubts of my own. A few rumors was never going to be enough. With how bad they want him dead, how many times we've slipped away. They won't let it happen again. Not without one hell of a plan. And this... Th you asked if I'd be willing to die for him. The answer is yes. Robin. It's not as strange as I thought it would be. They always said I was a flashy dress. I'm dressing like this. It's no wonder Eden's so confident all the time. Are you ready for this? As I'll ever be. This may sound selfish, considering what we're asking. But if you can, please, come back alive. I just wish I could have had one last drink with him. It's just too damn bad. We should go. What's with all the long faces? If you're worried about the city, don't fret. We'll be back before long, and fix it up even better than we left it. Yeah, I know you will. Robin? Why are you dressed like... Cap, I'm going on ahead for a while. So you take your time following me here. Wait, you're not... Robin, I... Francisco, Robert, watch over him. Everyone, please get ready. We must move now. Well, get a move on, damn it! Pipsqueak wants to go out like a hero? If any of you lets it go to waste, you'll answer me!
Our nearest safe haven is in Limber. We're safe from pursuit for now. But you never know when they'll catch up. Right. Let's move. Everyone, protect the cart! I should apologize for our last encounter. I underestimated you. Damn it! On us already? Rest assured, I do not repeat my mistake. Eden, your life ends here! The hell it does! Everyone, run with everything you've got! We have to get out of here now! Sir. Linver isn't far from here. It won't be easy, but we have to make it. It feels like it's gonna split open. Wait. Old man? And Albrecht? Am I dreaming? You've completed your mission. And returned. You're in Linber. Then this isn't a dream. Linber? Wait. When did I even... Robin. Where is Robin? Why aren't you saying anything? Francisco, where is he? Where the hell is Robin? Welcome. Well, so much for our earth shaking comeback. I wouldn't be so certain about that. Ballastar just took an axe to our plans. Strategically, I'll admit being chased from Castilian and losing the Alliance isn't... On the other hand, I'll wager Ballastar... About what? Your power. And how it continued. It still wasn't enough to beat him. Ah, but that piece of the puzzle has a simple solution. Let me guess... more training. There, see? You're learning already. What is there left to learn? We've been at this for two years, Albrecht. You achieved a new level of power at Castilian. Greater even than what you displayed in Viadel. I'd like to see if you can do it again at will. Why not give it a try in our next battle, so I can observe you? You spend an awful lot of time observing me. How could I not? You're fascinating.
Welcome. All right, you've seen my new trick in action. What do you think? Hmm. I have to admit, I'm a bit disappointed. Seriously? But I've gotten stronger. Your destructive power and accuracy have certainly improved, but it's nowhere near what I saw in Castile. Maybe we should invite Ballastar here. Now that is interesting. I wasn't being serious. I meant the notion of a relationship between your power and your emotions. There are passages in the old texts about how the Eidolons chosen were renowned for various personal attributes. I've always thought it was simple hagia, but perhaps this stuff. Ah, it appears I've overworked you. Rest. Need something? You called for me? Eden? Ballastar sent us Robin's remains. He... What is this? Is Ballastar mocking us? I don't think it's like that. They gave... <sighs> what is he playing at? It doesn't matter. What's important is the kid's back with us. Don't you think he deserves a proper send-off? <sighs> yeah. I'll... I'll... I'm on it. Full responsibility. The diversion was my idea. My plan. <coughs> we needed to escape the city. I got us out the only way I could. I won't beg for your forgiveness. I accept your decision. I need to be alone for a while. I understand. How's it going? Cap, it's almost time. Everyone's gathered in the operation. You and Robert were the only ones missing. Where's Robert? Don't know. He's not in this... I was gonna go look for him. I'll take care of it. I have a feeling I know where he is. Yeah? Thought you'd be here. <sighs> Robert. You saw right through him, didn't you? <laughs> he always acted like such a carefree little smartass. But he carried a lot of weight. He told me once that he was abandoned as a kid. Survived because of other people's help. Said he had a duty to repay it. That's why he was always helping people. He felt like he owed the world. I always warned him it would catch up someday, but he never let it stop him. Just kept insisting he could take care of himself. Right up to the end. I was against it. There had to be some other way, I thought. I was sure of it. I stayed up half the night arguing over the war board with Joanna. We must have gamed out a hundred different scenarios. Nothing worked. I just kept hoping for a breakthrough, and it never came. I've never felt so worthless. But I still wouldn't accept it. Sacrificing him, my friend, my brother. I couldn't do it. Robin was the one who convinced me. He said he'd come back alive. Don't worry about it. I just sat there, shaking. 
That little kid who used to tail me around. When the hell did he grow up so fast? It was the first time I'd ever seen him speak with such confidence. I wanted to believe him so badly. Those eyes, that will to survive. I let myself believe he was right. But I think he knew the truth even then. And I think I did too. Robert. I, I don't fault him for what he did. Just... Please, Cap. Promise me we'll win this war. Don't let it be in vain. Whatever it takes. Yeah. Whatever it takes. Now come on. <sighs> After seizing Plameld, Ballastar set course to Linber in pursuit of Eden. But before his forces could march, they were ambushed from behind by the mercenary Emil and forced to retreat. Meanwhile, Eden struggled to regroup and marshal his defenses, but time was not on his side. Before long, Ballastar had quelled Hector's uprising. In response, Emil, no doubt fearing a head-on confrontation, abandoned the offensive and fled. And so, free of distractions, Ballastar turned his gaze toward Eden once more. Just as the vice began to close, news arrived from Yaravir province. Clara had succeeded in overthrowing Lord Mateus. Now the young leader, once a starving mercenary, held sole power over the city of Lampakaz. Ballastar's closing in faster than we expect. Is it true that bastard Emil didn't even put up a fight? He had no choice. His forces held zero chance of victory in a straight fight. It's likely they'll fall back and continue creating small disruptions. At least, so I hope. Francisco, what do our defenses look like? Bad. It's gonna take more than these flimsy walls to keep them out. We need more body. What about the reinforcements we requested for- <sighs> If we can't count on her help, this just got a lot more grim. Huh? What's that supposed to mean? Wait. You're not saying she'd betray- No way. She's strong-willed. But she'd never do something like that. I wouldn't be so sure. What are you saying? It's one thing to take some troops off on your own and just lose touch for a while. But ignoring a call like this? Well, that's something else. Could be Clara's got a good reason for it. But without knowing for sure, we... today's friend can be tomorrow's enemy. I don't think Clara would betray us. But the way things have been, I can't say for sure. After this battle is over, I'll speak to her in person. Francisco, you'll be coming with me. Huh? Who's gonna lead the main force? If we don't get the reinforcements we need, there won't be a main force. Gilbert, hold out as long as you can. Right. Are you all seriously in here? Ballastar's true. Everyone to your stations, and prepare for battle! Is survival the best you can So much for aiming. Don't you ever get tired of- You've come a long way, so here's a bit of fortune-telling for your trouble. You'll be leaving here empty-handed. Empty threats from a cow. Tell me, which of your little allies... I take it back. 
I just had another vision. You're gonna die on your knee. Quite the prophecy. Let's see if you can make it come true. You bastard! Bastards! Eat him! They broke through! Everyone, remember what I said! Don't risk your life for those games! Guard up and fall back! Make them earn every step! Eden, please. This has to st Selena. I didn't think you were the kind of person to do something like this. But I guess I was wrong. There's nothing else to say. If you still stand with him, you're my enemy. And if you want this war to end, you'll have to kill me. Eden, give it up. You know I can't do- How many more friends are you going to sacrifice? You've got it backwards. The ones who gave their lives. They're the reason I'll never stop. Where the hell are they all coming from? Stay calm. Think like a leader. If you panic, they might have good reason to. We've done this a thousand times. Just focus and work the problem. We can't hold out here any longer! I can see that. The barricade. The barricades collapsed! This is our chance! Every Old man! Take the main force and wait for us in Ferta! You got it! Francisco, with me! We're headed to Lem- You're hesitating. It's not like you, brother. I'm worried. What's bothering you? We need troops. Let's get in there and get them. I'm not supposed to be here. If anyone sees my face, word will spread fast. A surprise visit from the boss won't exactly help Clara's reputation. So what? As far as we know, she might have already turned against us, right? That's easy for you to say. You're not the one who has to make the call. Let's get in there and find her. This seems like a lot. Stop complaining and f All right, all right. Enter. It's late. Speak up or leave. No funny tricks, High Commander. I'll cut you down on the spot. Our lives were in danger. All I did was follow your orders and risk my life doing it. You forgot one. Why did you ignore our request for reinforcements? Reinforcements? <laughs> You're lucky anyone here is alive. We just got through fulfilling your last order. Now you want more? Clara, enough. The only person that benefits from us fighting is Ballastar. I'm taking the troops that I need. And from now on, wherever you go, Gilbert goes. Unless you have a problem with that. Why even ask? You'll just do as you please anyway. You can feel however you like inside your own mind. But we have responsibilities now. Our disagreements are bigger than us. I know better than anyone how badly you want to beat him. So follow my orders. Or well, the one who gets the last laugh will be Ballastar.
You're much too kind, dear. How's it going? Thanks. Yeah? Need something? Did you run into any resistance on the way here? <laughs> Nothing much. That Emil fellow's earning his keep. His little outfit's got Ballastar's people running in circles. It was practically a stroll through the meadow. Good to hear. Never thought I'd be grateful for that guy's insatiable greed. I don't know how the hell he found the manpower, but he found it. They retook Castilian like it was nothing. That sounds like Emil. He's got a knack for pissing people off, and, and once he sinks his teeth in, he doesn't let go. <laughs> sounds like a handy skill set. I think I made con. Yeah. I got the. I don't know. It's like. Mm, and I thought we were both. But maybe everything. How can I help? I need you to go to her. Keep an eye on things. Try to. I've already told her you're coming. And she agreed? More like grudgingly accept. <laughs> Prickly per. Can you do it? All the way to Lampicos, huh? Sure. My. Lacrimosa? The local bep. Oh, they say one sip brings tears to your. So don't fret on my account. This job was made for me. When you get back, the next round's on. I'll be looking forward. To, uh, before I forget. Hector? That's right. Believe it or not, he's still breathing. I think you and he ought to have a chat. Maybe I will. Hector. <laughs> Some greeting. Not that I expected any better. We've been busy. And I've been away. Sorry about that. All the hell I went through on your behalf? And that's the best you can come up with? Whatever you've been through, I'm grateful you decided to join us. Thanks for raising a ruckus in Castilian. But, now that you mention it, how did you make it back here? It can't have been easy with Ballastar chasing you. We cut through the misty woods. You're kidding me. Nobody makes it out of there a lot. Had no choice. Besides, I'd rather face monsters than that be- yeah. But who am I telling? Hmm. Anyway, I'm spent. Find my troops some place to rest. We've earned it. Of course. Thanks to the efforts of our mercenary friends, Ballastar has returned to Castilian. You all might be thinking that gives us time to breathe, but we can't afford to waste it. He'll be at our throats again before we know it. So let's hold him here! This place was the Empire's shield, right? For a short-term blockade, there's no greater stronghold than this. But if we hang our entire defensive strategy on it, 
We're leaving most of Florian to... There's a reason the Empire clutched Florian so tightly. We can't go back to Limber or Pomeld. Their defenses have been decimated. Ballastar's so confident he could retake them, he didn't even bother leaving troops behind. Chateau? What about Chateau? Chart? It's the road that connects Pomeld and Limber from east to west through the mountains. The slopes on either side are steep, and the entrance is narrow. A slapdash fort position. And we would. Chart? All right. We'll head there and fortify it ourselves. There's no time to waste. I've discussed it with Albrecht, and I... Without greater numbers, the best you can hope to do at Chateau is slow Ballastar down. So I think it's best I head to Liriar and try and get them for you. All those fancy nobles aren't gonna like... Agreed. But now is no time for half measures. I'll return with whatever warm bodies I can muster. I'll be waiting. I'll be there. Uprisings. Ambush. Sabotage. Frustrated by the relentless mischief of Emile's forces, Ballastar set out from Castilian, entrusting Guillermo with the defense of his key stronghold. It would be the final marker of his plunge into obsession. A chance to face Eden in the field, free of distractions or restraint. Ballastar's army marched for Chateau, even as Eden's forces prepared to defend it. The final battle was fast approaching, with the course of history in the balance. At the same time, reports emerged from Lampacos that Clara's tattered forces marched for Lenoy to challenge the noble deserter, Lady Katarina. Eden, I thought I'd find you here. Our troops are in position. Eden? <sighs> What's wrong? Hold on a moment. I'll fetch help. No, it's just a headache. <sighs> we can't leave something like this to chance. I'll be all right. Just give me a second. Eden... Any news from Marshall? Nothing yet. Huh. What is it? I could swear we just had this conversation. You mean... No. No. It's not the same thing. Marshall has been with you since the beginning. I'm sure there's an explanation. That headache must have been worse than I thought. If I'm questioning Marshall now, what the hell is wrong with me? Eden. Eden! Ballastar's almost here! Where are you, Marshall? 